Good afternoon, folks. My name is Rick Salinas. I'm with Quantix Corp. We are the subcontractor hired to replace the existing uh, outdated, dilapidated boiler with a new uh, high efficiency uh, boiler. The brand of the uh, new unit is Raypack. And uh, here we have Mr. Uh, uh, Phil Lehman to speak with us about uh, the operation and maintenance of uh, the equipment. Mr. Phil. Thank you, Rick. As you said, I'm Phil Lehman. I'm with Massey Johnson Associates. We're located at 6923 Industrial Boulevard here in El Paso. Uh, we're the reps for Raypack. This is a Raypack boiler, MVB, 500,000 BTUs. This is the 84% efficient model. Uh, we have some buttons here, some lights, indicator lights. The green light, when it comes on, just indicates you have power. The amber light, when it glows, will indicate a call for heat. Once the boiler cycles and gets started burning, the blue light will come on. That indicates the flame is running. Uh, if there's a red light, you have a fault. You have an issue with the boiler, it needs corrected. When you have a fault, you can go in here to this menu. You can hit the menu button, and it tells you the different menus. This will tell you you want to cycle it to the toolbox menu. And then you can hit your item button, and that will toggle through the different faults that you have. You reset a fault once you correct the issue. You can reset the fault by holding these two arrow buttons down to reset it. If it's a hard lockout fault, uh, and you know that because of the uh, two arrow holes for a couple seconds real quick, you'll lose with the reset button. Once you've got everything corrected, Cycle the boiler off in the on switch, you put it back on, and it should take off and go. But it's a really good tool to find out what's causing your, your problem with the boiler when you have the red light here. Uh, this is called the PIM, this controls the boiler. You should never have anything to do with that. This is the Versa, it's a, uh, like a uh, sequencer for a boiler, if you will. You can daisy chain four boilers with this boiler, and this could be the, the head. But it also tells the PIM what to do. If you lose communication from the from the Versa to the PIM, the PIM has a dial switch I've got set in for about 158 to 150 degrees rather. And it will just drive the boiler to that temperature until somebody can come and correct the communication issue. Uh, the power switch is also a, a circuit breaker. It'll trip at 30 amps. They just come and reset it. Of course, you want to find out what caused it to trip. A couple of points on this boiler for your maintenance. You'll, this door will be held shut with a couple of bolts. It'll come out real easy. This panel will be on by some screws. We've taken the sheet metal off to help demonstrate the boiler. Back here, underneath the boiler, underneath the burner motor and the uh, manifold, there's a uh, Hot surface igniter, two screws, comes apart, you place it, and plugs very simply by a couple wires. Same thing over here. On this side of the boiler, you have a flame sensor rod, it's one wire, two bolts, pulls right out, and just change it out. Sometimes just a piece of emery cloth on that flame rod, clean it up, and it'll work fine. You also have back here a high pressure switch and a low pressure switch on the gas train. I'm going to demonstrate to you the low gas pressure switch when it falls and the resetting of it. Show you the location of the high gas pressure switch. It will be the same process. Uh, we're going to go ahead and cycle the boiler on and let it, let it start up. And once we uh, get the running burner, we'll kill the gas on it so we can see the uh, see that there's a little white light that burns inside here. And uh, let's go ahead and turn the gas off now to see when that will shut off. It'll probably take a minute. We'll probably have to open the gas valve for the gas pressure we need. So. I can also sense about this. Uh, okay, I'm going to bleed the gas out of here just by taking off the manometer just because I happen to have it under the testing. Okay, now we've faulted out. Uh, I'm going to get you to turn the gas back on now once you've been notified of this failure. You come see why you have a gas fault. You correct it. Once the gas pressure has been restored and everything's fine, you simply reset this. 
by pushing the clear plastic button, the clear plastic on top of that red button, and it reset it, and you're ready to go now. You uh, can reset the system by just turning off and on or hitting reset buttons. The uh, other very, very important issue with these boilers is the air filter. It's in this box here, little thumb screws. You loosen them up and you lift your box off. This box isn't attached very well yet. We're going to run some screws in it in a moment. Your filter's in here. You need to pay attention to your airflow arrow. Make sure your air is flowing this way. You also want to be sure the quality of the tube filter is a MERV 8. You notice it's not a 12 by 12, it's 11 and 3 quarters by 11 and 3 quarters. It's a custom filter. We also sell them as a Raypack part at Massey Johnson without having to custom make them. You pull it out and check it for dirt. This is a brand new filter, it's nice and clean. Check it. I would check it once a month during the heating season until you have a rhythm for how dirty your filters are going to get how often and you change them based on that. And you just put your lid back on, tighten the pump screws and you're ready to go.